This giant could crack a skull with his fist like a walnut, and frequently did. Until at last, the old king of that country, as good as the giant was bad, trapped him in a giant trap and locked him in a giant cell. Good. Very good. And there he stayed for many a year, and all would have been well but for a small problem. A small problem called Leo, youngest of the king's three sons. He is so curious. Now there's a dark place he's forbidden to visit. His brothers tell him a giant lives there with no heart. But he doesn't believe it. I don't believe it. Hello? Hello down there? Who's that? Are you a giant? Rattle once if you're a giant, and twice if you're not. Do you have a heart then? Once for yes and twice for no. A giant with no heart in his body. Little Prince runs off, his imagination ablaze is so excited. There's a giant with no heart living in the castle. Next morning he's up at the crack and running past his mother. Leo, where are you off to? Nowhere. Can you hear me? Yes. Why are you down there? Because long ago I did some bad things. This is my punishment. Oh. I've been here for years and years. Unless I'm let out soon, I will surely die. Oh, don't worry. I'll go and tell my father. No, don't tell anybody. Please. Would you like to be my friend? Yes, please. Good. Good. Day after day, the little prince comes visiting. He wants to tell the whole world about his friend. But he can't. So he mustn't. So he won't. And in the dark, dank black of the dungeon, the heartless giant plots and plans. The keys to my locks. Do you know where they're kept? I don't know. Long ago, a guard said the king kept the keys by his bed. Oh, those keys. They're huge. They're massive. I thought they must be for the crown jewels. Oh, no. They're for me. They're for my misery. Do you know something? I think if I got those old keys and let you out, nobody would even realize. No. That's not right. This is my punishment. I deserve it. It's not fair that you're chained down there. I bet that chain hurts your legs. Only sometimes. I don't care what you say. Then you go and get those keys. And so, that very night, Leo crept into the room where the king and queen were sleeping.
Someone helped you. Someone betrayed us. A madman. Only a madman would help a giant with no heart. Starting again. Uh, Leo, I said, get back to your room. Poor boy. 